Hello inspiring parents welcome to my channel in today's video I'm going to share a lesson plan for teaching difference between big and small this skill development is very basic introduction of math so let's get started with today's video but as usual if you like this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button at first I made a worksheet with different size circles on it as you all also know I have collected empty milk bottle caps and these circles of exact size of the milk bottle caps. I kept this exercise very simple and made only big and small circles but you can add medium size circle also. So parents uh, in future I will add middle shape but right now I am just adding uh, uh, big and small and keep keeping this exercise very simple while performing this exercise learners have to match milk bottle caps with the circles on the worksheet parents also make sure to say the word big and small so that learners can learn about the difference between big and small next i took two empty glass bottle one was big and tall and other was small and short I labeled this bottle just to show the spelling of letters big and small and also to give some visual cues to learners. For performing this exercise, we need an object with different sizes. So parents here you can give any object which is small and big and ask the learners to sort the object according to the sizes. You can give different sizes milk bottle caps and ask learner to put a big milk bottle caps into the bigger jar, jar smaller into the smaller so parents and teachers to add little bit more challenge uh, we can give a mi some mixed up things to sort out we can give whatever available at home here i am showing some of the examples Parents and teacher, you can also allow learners to fill the bottle simply with some of the decorative fillers to get the concept of uh, volume and also you can do the same thing with the water. Next exercise I am going to share is reading books. I strongly believe that books help us present information in its context helping learners understand the meaning of the information we are presenting so if you want if you are interested i'm going to share some of my favorite books on sizes in the description box below so make sure to check it but if you don't want to spend money on books then you can create your own book here i'm showing how i created my own book for making this book take a white paper fold it to the size you want it to make and then cut it then make sure to insert the folded paper one inside the other and then simply staple it then this is how it will look next you just have to make shape on each page make sure to make the small and big shapes on the adjacent pages so that it will be easy to compare big and small while reading this book And here you go your homemade book is ready you can also easily turn this book into an interactive book by making some cardboard cards for making these types of small and big cards you just simply need a cardboard just cut out two cardboard strips and then just draw small shapes on a smaller strip and big shapes on a bigger strip then simply cut out the cards and you can easily turn this book into interactive book by asking learners to match smaller circle with the smaller circle and bigger circle with the bigger circles and also and continuously doing with the other shapes also another way of using the same cards is just take a plain white paper and divide into two columns label one column as big column and label another column as a small column you can simply arrange big cards in a big row and you can ask learner to match the smaller version of the same shape you can also do same activity other way around arranging smaller cards on the one side and asking learners to match the bigger cards or you can simply ask learners to put or sort out big shapes into the bigger column and the small shapes into the smaller column. 
with that being said parents let's move on to our next exercise that is comparing length from long and short for teaching this concept once again you take a plain white paper and divide the plain paper into two columns label one column as a longer and label another column as a shorter and you can draw long strips in a long column and a short strips in a short column and here make sure to uh, show which is long and which is short to the learners Another variation of doing same exercise is you can make a simple line of a milk bottle caps one is longer and one is shorter here you can show learners that which is long and which is short and you can give some milk bottle caps and ask them to make longer line and match the circles and make the shorter line use and match the circles also adding some variation you can just simply draw a squares of the long in the long line and the short line and give some uh, papers and ask learners to glue uh, those papers on the long line and the short line another way you can just use uh, the simple straws and cut it into long and short so there are many different ways of doing same activity just uh, the the important thing is like conveying the message of what is mean by long and what is mean by short So parents that's it for today in today's video if you like this video make sure to subscribe like and share and also leave a comment in a comment section below See you next time with the next video